full auto. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Figma Igus Ultimate Version. This version of Igus is based off of the fighting game and not the original RPG. And I think there is a normal Igus, but this version is definitely the cool one because it comes with all that stuff and I think it might have improved articulation and a better face mold, but we definitely got some nice paint apps going on. But what we want to look at is that sick articulation. The head can look up, look down, tilt side to side. There's no shenanigans or chicken necks here, but it can go around 360 degrees. So there's a ball joint inside the torso that lets you move back and forth like so up and down and right in here there's a hinge that allows you to bring it up like so and then you got the little clippy thing that kind of moves around and then you got uh, I guess not much of a swivel there in the yard go around 360 degrees single jointed elbow and then you can get a little bit of movement side to side you've got the peg in wrist so you can only really turn it around like so and then you got a hinge. You can get it to get all limp wristed arc. You've got a single ball joint torso, so you can get looking up, looking down, tilting side to side. You can pretty much just get that hole. And then you get the body copter. The leg can kick forward that far and kick back that far and go out to the side only for the pit plopples, the sip sopples, the waka pa popples. You got a little bit of some something, not much. It's, it goes on in there. It seems like there's like another joint that moves, but it's really tight and I really can't get it to move much on either side. Actually, see, that's kind of what happens when I try to do that on this side. So I don't really try to go in for that much because Figmas can break. Yeah, single jointed knee, but can go a little bit over 90 degrees, almost 180 is pretty good actually. Now that we've seen that articulation, let's look at some accessories. If you take this little back peg off like, bam, you got a hole there, and that's where you can put all the awesome shit. Check it out. One missile silo, one. Cannon. We'll take a quick second because all of these guys do have a little bit of articulation. You got a joint there, a joint there, and a joint there. And with the cannon, you've got out to the matter if she falls. You've got a Figma joint here, and then you can get a nice little swivel going on there. So that's pretty cool that they added that. She even comes with a goddamn minigun and a little blasty effect. So like. It even spins. It's if you yeah, yeah it spin. spins. I'm I am a grown man. See this? See this right here? You put that on the back. And you can guess guess what it does? Guess what it does? Bam! Connect all that shit to her. Look at that. Look at all that. Look at she's just like fully loaded right now. She can just she can just destroy a whole building. You know? got all that. All that's happening right now. She just destroyed Earth. She also comes with these like clear thingies. You put them on the bottom of her feet because like she doesn't really stand without these. And um I'm pretty sure you notice that she has like different hair. So she has that and then she has like the visor which is right there. And then she's got like the screaming face that kind of looks off to the side. And then she has this face so it to get the camera to focus. And then yeah, and she's got persona eyes. And of course she's got a plethora of hands which some of them are disconnected. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, uh, 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 make it rain hands up on the bitch. And uh, and she's got this, which is really cool. I like that Figma's come with this. It reminds me of the old um, 
the Microman figures. They come with these, and you like put the hands in there and the peg holes. And the newer ones have actual pegs out because they have the the new type hands. And um, she comes with the Figma bag, and it says I guess on it. So because I actually use these, and of course she comes with her Figma stand. She can't be a Figma without the stand. So yeah, so um. It's a really nice figure. I really I like it. So yeah, there's no denying that this is a pretty awesome figure. It looks amazing. The paint job's nice. I don't see any like really smudge or anything like that. They're pretty good on the quality control of this. My only complaint would be that with these extra pieces on the back, they feel a little loose and they kind of just droop down. And actually, I have this sitting like kind of diagonal and it's supposed to sit horizontally but as soon as you put a weapon on there it just kind of droops and it doesn't really work that well and I was having a hard time with the missile silos by itself on her back too it's almost like the holes too loose and I uh, kind of afraid to tighten it up I don't really know what to do with that so I just leave it as it is it's kind of fine I can work around it but other than that, the figure's great. It doesn't have any tight joints or anything like that. Well, when I say tight joints, I mean freakishly tight joints where you might break the figure. So, yeah, looks good, feels great, has great articulation. And if you're a Persona fan or a Figma fan, or if you like the fighting game, because I actually do like, I like Ultimax. I don't like the original one, but Ultimax was pretty good. Um, get this figure, because it's a nice figure. It looks great. It looks great on your shelf. And that's all I have to say about this toy. Thanks for watching this review, and I'll see you guys next time!